Good afternoon. Hi. It's freezing. So our last episode, we got all this done. Yep. And now this episode's starting with filthy paint knees. Yeah. <laughs> Make a little cut. And uh, so... Brakes. Oh, electric brakes. Yeah. So I'm just figuring out how I'm going to run it. Um, basically, that seven core wire goes to a seven pin plug. We have the flat style plug into the car. And that has your tail lights, your brake lights, your left and right indicator, brakes, earth, and side lights. So it has seven cables. Was that seven? What did I say? Probably. I wasn't counting. So I've just laid it out. It's 10 meters. It goes to the front of the drawbar. I've stuck it out, put like a metre past the front of the drawbar, roughly. Yeah. And I think it's long enough. Because I kind of wanted it to go, like it's got to go to that corner, that back left tail light. This tail light, like I'll probably run two core wire to that. It's pretty cool. Anyway. Where'd you get it from? That was from Autobahn. I got that a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. Do you know how much it was? That was... It was cheap as wasn't it? Like, I can't remember, maybe like 20 bucks something. Yeah, yeah. Idea. And the 7 pin plug I bought separate was like $10. You can get them at Bunnings though, similar price. So um, what have you got to do now? You got to, you have well, to strip it, is that right? Yeah, so I've got some other wire. It's just 2 core, so that's 7 core, like I said, I've got some 2 core. Mm -hmm. And then, <clears throat> so brakes, 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 brakes. I will cut into it here. Find my blue and my white because that's my brakes is blue and white is earth. And then I'll just solder onto the blue and the white. Run a cable down to these. So whereabouts? Do you want to show me on the so on the brakes I've already got wires on them? Yeah. So I'll run the blue to one side and the white to the other side. Is that all four? Well, yeah, at, all, at all four points. So oh, there's okay. a cable so coming like straight down to here. Then I'll have a cable tied up under here, coming straight down to this one. Okay. And then I'll... Oh, oh no. And then I'll tee it off again here and do the same. And there's no polarity. Like, it's not like a negative or positive. Um, it's just a... It's just a power and an earth so it doesn't, doesn't matter which it one. doesn't matter which one the blue and white goes to and the cable I actually bought was black and red anyway so but as long as I've got tapped into the blue and white in this because that's what goes into the car the seven pin like the blue is number five yeah got and it's it it's always going to be a brake so when you hit your brake and when you like and I think like seven's like the right indicator and six is the left something like that so it all works. We've got to get into the right colours. Yep. Now I'm just deciding whether to run my cable in my chassis. Along the side of the chassis or inside underneath it, it? Inside it. And then come out where? Were you going to poke a hole in it? Drill a hole. But I don't know, drill a hole there. But what about movement? Mm -hmm. Well, the wheels move, don't they? Like with your suspension. Yeah, that's right. So they'll have to. It'd be a bit of slack, yeah. Okay. I don't yeah, know. So you just come out and then you. To it. protect it? With that flexi conduit, yeah. And then is that going to be easily changeable if something goes wrong? If I've never done it before, so I don't know. No, I just mean like if it's inside the chassis and something's gone wrong, mm. is that going to be easily changeable? Pull it out and. Maybe. Okay, I've been trying to lose it in the chassis. Okay. Don't remember? No. Just asking questions. Yeah. So I've got all the stuff I need to do it, but it's just whether or how I'm going to run it down the chassis. Whether I just clip it on the side, like that. Maybe we'll underneath. ask Instagram Yeah. what they've all done. Yeah, or clip it underneath, or like all the brand new caravans, yeah, they run it through the because that I made this so I know what's in there. That's hollow all the way to the front. Yeah. 
So if I just drill, usually the hole's underneath, so if water gets in there, it can drain out, I think. Um, and then you, yeah. Or, I think it's in the, the camper trailer is like in the front. Like if I just drill a hole there. Oh yeah, I remember it coming yeah. out of there now. They had just like a little... Yeah, and then... Oh fuck, I oh, scratch that. Oh shit. Oh, it's not dry, god damn it. I'm glad we got caught that on camera. More bird shit. Don't stop rubbing it. You just lick it. <laughs> well, I'll drill my hole there. <laughs> so yeah, drill a hole, run the cable all the way to the back of the chassis. Do you still have some from that job you just did? You feed it yeah. <laughs> you feed it through the other way with a hook. So start it at that end, push it all the way through, come out the front, tie my cable to it, and pull it back through. But then yeah, so 30, all the way to the back, so that's pretend it's running through the chassis like that and then I drill a hole here and scoop my finger in there pull it out uh, shred it solder my wire on run it to the four brakes heat shrink it push it back in put a grommet there yeah that'll work and then it'd be all nice what's stopping the water from getting in when you go over nothing nothing stopping the water from getting in but you put drains in it oh so you have to drill holes underneath yeah so it drains out. This is Will that not should be in turn then be a less strength chassis? Hold, hold that big piece there. It's not going to affect the strength of like a, No. I'm now a qualified sparky. Oh yeah. Yes. Where's your so. where's your online certificate? Don't worry about that. So I'm gonna run the cable through the chassis. For the hand for the brakes and for the tail lights. So that's what's plugged into our car, seven pin plug. Mm -hmm. This is 10 mil seven core wire. Mm -hmm. We saw that in the last clip. 10 you... mil seven core. Wire. Yeah. That you laid out. That's the one you laid out. Yeah. Right. So that that's the front of the caravan. Run all the way to the back of the caravan. I'm going to drill a hole in the chassis and then these little grommets will slip over and sort of... And, and sort of what? I don't get it. Well, it just protects the cable from the steel. Oh, that's, that goes on the steel. Yeah, so that sort of sits in the got hole. It. Righto. Um, I got ones that big because I don't know if I'm going to try and jam the... because we've got to run the um, Anderson plug as well for the fridge and the charger. Oh, that's going to go through those. So I don't know if that's going to go through the hole as well or whether I'm going to drill another one because also I want to get some of that mesh safety netting stuff that we had on the camper trailer and sort of like put it over it. All to right. Go just, just, just at the end that comes out the front. Can you okay. not feed? No. Um, so yeah, I've got the hole saw, the grommets, 20 mil hole saw. So and that, that's to strip that, the wire, is it? That yeah, just got they were like five dollars and special. This makes it a lot easier just for mm -hmm. stripping heaps of wires. That'll definitely get a lot of use. Roughing in the caravan. Twenty mil, that seems that's obviously bigger than twenty mil, but like the inside. Yeah, yeah. It'll sit snug in a twenty mil hole. Cable ties, tape. I've got some heat shrink as well and some solder for a soldering line. What size drill bit is it? 20. Take a little bit. Like I did it here and not the front. Mm -hmm. That's all I was thinking. If I'll do it here. Tap it in. Looks like we're not doing this for a couple of days. So here we're at the front of the drawbar. First I need to check where I can get my drill in. So there's no point drilling it at the front there if I can't get my drill in. 
so it might have to be about here where the cable comes out to hook onto the car so I'll just pull it out there then put a little clip or something at the front to hold it in place Yes, yep. Got the old caravan and decided to gut it and redo it. Oh, good on you. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper than buying a brand new one. Yeah, I'm sure. Gotcha. Don't want to leave that in there. So what I actually just did guys, I couldn't um, I couldn't feed the cable, this cable in through from the front because it just kept bunching up. Um, I think it stopped about where the drawbar, about where the drawbar turns and goes straight down the chassis. I think this cable was just bunching up. So what I did is I had some stainless steel cable left over actually from a, same as this, from a job that I was doing. I was doing a handrail for, for someone and I fed it through from the back so that now I've got to get it out now there we go so that is fed all the way through from our back hole so now I'm just going to get this duct tape it on there or tape it on there and feed it pull it all the way back through to the back of the frame and then we'll have our seven core wire running from the front all the way through to the back inside the chassis give it a wriggle yeah you got to hold that back as you're feeding it Surely it's nearly there. There it is. So pull it all the way through until there's about 600 mil out the front of the um, where the tow bar hooks on. Yeah, okay. I don't know, we just want, you know, probably as long as those chains, really. We're well, not going to want, well, you're going to have to pull it. Yeah. So, and then I'll just clip it on there or something with a tie yeah, down okay. clip. All right, well. That's it? That's it. All right. Plenty enough there to go to that tail light and then that tail light. You've drilled another hole there. Yeah. And so I've just got some two core wire. And I'm gonna run. So blue is brakes, white is earth. Don't worry about these colours, just pretend they're blue and white. I'm gonna put them on there. One will go straight to these ones. The other one will run up here across to these ones. And I'll solder it. I'll let it tape it up. Will you drill another hole next to it for the other brakes? Yeah I have that. Oh you have? Oh I couldn't see it. Yeah, yeah right. But um so for the side lights I was talking to the guy and he goes usually you just drill a hole for your brakes, come out for your brakes and then just run from like these holes. Probably from this front hole here I'll probably run to the side lights. Um, just like along there and yeah. then what up there to there? Yeah, something like that. Along the chassis? And then, then it's got to go all the way over that side too. Yeah, right. So I don't know, I might draw another hole at the front. It's pretty easy to do. Another hole just there? Yeah, at the drawbar. And then at the back we'll go to the rear lights. I read on the Vic Road site, it's um, your side lights you got to have them every five metres, so we'll just have one, one the, ones at the front and back. Mm -hmm. Amber's front and red's back or something, but you have them both. So you, you get the side lights and it's got red and orange in it. Right, because the KMAC website there, you can get red ones, 
You can get orange ones, you can get clear ones. Well, anyway, I got some from the auto elect mm -hmm. and they're clear, but they've got a red and orange oh, in it. Oh, okay. So, how much were they? 10 each, 12 okay. each, or something like okay. that. Okay. They're pretty good. But you can spin them around anyway. If they're not on the right way, you just unclip them, spin them around, pop them back in. So, yeah, I just got some um, cable clamps as well. So, they're like a letter P style, mm -hmm. and they'll just hold the clamp. Do you screw them in? Screw them in. I'll screw them into this chassis here so there'll be what, one, two, three to come up and along down to this brake and I'll do the same at the second brakes and then that blue wire so that this core wire runs all the way to the end so that blue wire once I do my last brake connection I'll just pull that out that blue wire is no longer needed it doesn't need to run all the way to the back anymore oh. and yellows wouldn't you just leave it and save yourself the trouble the guy the auto that guy yeah, he just said some people leave it some people pull it out Right. So everything's soldered. I'm really worried that I'm gonna like accidentally cut through the wire too much. Careful that's all done. Oh, it's nice and warm down here because of that. <laughs> you doing stripping the wire? Yep. This this stuff, this two core stuff that I got is really thick. Mm. It's hard to... Solder it. Tape everything out. I might see if it works. I just, I, we hooked that one side and I just wanted to test it. So I backed the car up, plugged the plug in, Kels put a foot on the brake, and it worked. It engaged. So I just wanted to see if all that worked before I... Went on. Ta taped it all up and put it back in its hole. Awesome. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. Quality YouTube. Should have been an auto or like. It's funny. Like if an auto or like watches their video, and they'll be like, what the f you yeah. know there will be one. <laughs> it's like if I watch someone weld. I'm like, you're doing it wrong. But. As long as it works, it's not wrong. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think I made it. I did a pretty good job. Well, that's very exciting. If that gets all done. It's done. I feel like I've been thinking about the electric brake since you put the <laughs> well, wheels yeah, on it. I kind of have been too. Um. It's very satisfying to, um, not that I've done it, but, you know, things like this that you go, oh, I'd have to call an auto electrician to do it, or I'd have to pay someone else to, but to look it up and figure it out and do it yourself is actually pretty... Well, I went to Hagen's in town. Yeah. That's where Penny takes her trucks. Yes. And there's a young fella there, and I was just like, oh, I'm not an auto electrician or anything. Mm. And he just helped me out. He's you believe me? Spent some time explaining some stuff and how to do this and how to do that and what I need to do here. And awesome. It gave me a bit more confidence in this. Do you remember his name? No. He didn't. No, oh, some people have name tags on. Oh, not this guy. Anyway, good stuff. Fair enough. Like, Mum and Dad never had a. Like, Dad never had a car that he did up or anything. Ow! Mum sews, I suppose. There's a lot of sewing. Mm. My parents renovated houses. Hey. Got the bugs there. The fingers. Getting to work out, are they bad? It's about time. Cramp it up. Maybe that's a job for me then. He just finished up. It looks really nice and neat. You happy with that? Yeah, I am. Super happy? Good mm -hmm. job, Ben. Yeah, it looks good. It works and it's done. The floor can go down there. Well, yeah, the floor can go down. You can put the wheels back on. Wheel arches. Wheels have to go back on. Wheel arches have to go on. Water tanks have to go on. We're just waiting on the... What's it called? We'll make some guards for the... Some guards tank. for the water tank, yeah. And, um... You're going to finish up the... 
these things. The tail lights haven't come yet, they'll come this week. And you've got a couple of side lights, so you'll replace those. Yeah. <laughs> Ancient, these things. You ever seen these things before? Cool. Looks like Glows. from the Matrix when you take a pill. <laughs> it's like a cassette tape. Yeah, That's well, it. I know what a cassette tape is, thanks. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.